Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I am going to be. Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and today I am going to be hitting the water with a really, really good gray guys. Beto and Tim, we're going to be taking Beto's boat out. Oh, that's a big girl. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he came off in the net! Oh, ah! oh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah baby and here we are you know we are still in those heavy wind kind of days um a lot of wind this this spring and a lot of times what we try to do is get out of the wind as much as possible i'm going to be fishing on a boat it is a smaller boat it is really a nice boat i i like this small boat it's really slick you can get really really shallow so there's a couple of spots that we're going to hit that should be uh, protected by the wind, but I, I don't really think that there's much we can do with this wind. I think we're going to be in it no matter what. We are stopping uh, at this boat ramp. I've never been to it before. It's uh, it's kind of new to the area, so um, I know they have a bait shop there, and we're going to stop and get some live shrimp. I am taking with me today, I'm taking a Coastal Corks. I have used this Corks uh, for, you know, a good, good amount of time, uh, maybe last couple years. Um, one of the reasons why I do like this Cork is because it has big beads on it and, and um, it has a nice real Cork, cork sounding sound, a nice weight. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put probably, I'm going to put, I'm going to tell you right now, I have on probably close to... Maybe about two feet of line. And I'm going to use this new hook. This is an H2O Express hook. It's kind of like a J hook bait style hook. Um, not quite the octopus hook that I like because that the eye will of the octopus will tell off a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try this one. It's a little thicker than, than I normally use. Um, but I am going to try with it. Uh, I'm probably try different several different hook variations. Um, and then I have a split shot about a, a foot away from the hook. Just to try to help keep the, the shrimp down because we have been seeing really large shrimp lately. So trying to help keep that shrimp down and, um, and hook up. But I'm sure I'll be switching my hooks in and out based on the bite. So anyway, uh, wish us luck. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, share. And you know, we have a Patreon page. So my Patreons by this time have already found out about this uh, trip with a fishing report. So if you missed it, maybe if we caught some good fish, you probably missed out on those as well. But thanks for coming back and let's get going. Oh, yeah, it's holding down a little bit. You got something. Hardhead. I got no I got slack in my line. I mean Oh little flounder. Oh, flounder baby! Flounder flounder what I tell you? Little baby. Baby flatty. Colorado. That's a red. Oh yeah. Found the nursery today. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's pretty red. Look at that pretty blue tail. Yeah. Look at that hook. <laughs> Came right out, yeah. Right out. He's just holding on to it. Oh, come on! Here we go, baby! Woo! Oh yeah! That's a red. That's a red. That's a red. That's a red, and we're live, and we're recording, and I got slack in my line. There we go. Oh, 
Come on, baby. Oh, oh. new metal rod, H2 Express, thank you, Academy. Coastal Corks. Oh, <laughs> come on, baby. Oh, that's a big old, that's a big old a gap top. That's a huge one. I don't think you want to net this guy. The bogus. It's bogus. Look at my line. He slimed it up. You get this big old nasty guy. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Thank you. I foul hooked it too. That's gross and rich. Let me just hold it up so I can show. The big old boy. There we go. You're doing a good job. Oh, <laughs> You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. I got him. I got him. Look at that. I got him. I got him. <clears throat> and he stopped running. And he stopped running. No. He needs to stop running, he's gonna pull my line out. I don't know. Oh, he's off! No way! Dang it! Oh, that's fine. That probably should have went and got that one. He broke off. He broke off. You know why? Broke me off on oyster. I fill it all the way down. You know, I had a great time with the guys. Tim and Beto are great people. They're, you know, thank you guys for having me out. Thanks, uh, Beto, for having me on your boat. And thanks, Tim. You know, if you want a very good plumber and a plumber that's in our area, then check Tim out. I'll leave his information down below. He is a plumber, a trustworthy plumber that does a great job. So you can look at his information and hit him up if you need one. Uh, I know good guys are always kind of hard to find when you're looking for service like that. But, yeah, we had a good time. But, you know, the fish just weren't there for us. There was the winds, yeah, dirty water. We had some big old shrimp. I mean, this is the second time. You know, the bait shop over here uh, had some big old huge monster shrimp. So this second time, uh, we've gotten some big monster shrimp this week. So... You know they're out there nice big shrimp so i just wish we had a little bit a little bit better water clarity you know we came back fish moses lake came all the way around drifted um hit some back areas hit some back spots and yeah uh typically a lot of these places will hold fish moses lake is is a good place to fish i haven't fished it a whole lot but i know from past
last coming out here and putting the kayak in I relatively did, did good so it felt good to come and hit the water in the boat don't forget to join patreon today um, you know I, I just another way for you to support the channel and if you like uh, Texas all water fishing you want more content and that this is that's where to go you know that's I post the daily lenses I post uh, footage and, and, and fish reports and all stuff like that on there so if you want more Texas all water fishing then then check out the patreon um, and again it just helps support the channel everybody that's joined so far I really appreciate you guys and I had a big big fish on oh my gosh it was probably I, I was hoping that it was a big red, but most likely it could have been a big old ugly, big black drum, I think. Just pulling drag, pulling pulling the line out. That rod that I was using from H2O Express, uh, it was the Meta spinning spinning rod. Um, it was great, you know, I mean, it did everything I asked it to. I, I, it felt really, really good in the hand, felt really good to cast. Got some nice big long casts out of it. And, you know, I really enjoyed, I'm enjoy fishing with that rod. And, um, and you know, <laughs> and, you know, if the fish aren't there, the fish aren't there. It's just kind of, you know, just kind of how it goes sometimes. But I appreciate you guys kind of just rambling on here. I, apo I apologize. But um, I appreciate you guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe bell notification. Thanks again. Hopefully next time you catch me. Look it up. Thanks.